um, I'll ever get quenched is it immediately is going to fit into all realms of combat. I don't, I don't uh, when I'm doing a quench game for Thai boxing with this slight variation, you know, now we have MMA. With slight variations, now I can do the same stuff with guys who are in full kit and they're going through a house and they're getting hit from the side and you have to go. It doesn't matter what they're in or what environment they're in. You can really modify the clinch. Because I always tell, like I say this, the old adage used to be, you know, what was the racist thing? Every fight ends up on the ground. Don't they don't. I've been in a lot of fights that never end up on the ground. Right? But, almost every fight ends up in some kind of clinch. Right? You punch, the guy doesn't like you punch, he just dives in on you, or you get on him. You know, so I always say, you know, that's where almost every fight almost gets you to some kind of clinch. Right? So, we do a lot of drills where we're how to safely get in a clinch and then immediately right when you're in a clinch. My whole goal is how do I get them out of position as fast as possible, all right? I don't want them getting in a nice steady, good block position where they have some balance and we can start to get any kind of technique out of themselves. So immediately what we're going to do to opt out. And I tell you, I have to always get friends with friends too and I have one of the guys in my school, his name is Saul Mitchell. He was a Greco guy originally, all right? Very good Greco guy. He used to train with a high level Greco. In Minnesota, but he ended up going to Thailand. His dad uh, moved over to Thailand, so he went over there and he fell in love with Thai boxing. So he started just, just clinching like man, man, right? And so he got so engrossed and was so immersed in Thai boxing that he knew that the only way that he was going to really get it is if he spoke Thai. And now he made the speeches to the point where the Thai go, <laughs> I can't believe him, who he is, right? And so that's you know, because he wanted to get so in depth in the Muay Thai. And now he's kind of made this, this mix of really high level Greco with high level Muay Thai. And I always tell people this, the only difference between real good, solid Greco and Muay Thai is the fact that in Thai boxing, I have to lift one foot off the ground. The Greco I never do. Alright? And that's what makes all the difference in the world as soon as you lift a foot. Now, man, you don't have to take balance. 